Welcome! In this video, we will show you everything about tables. We will be going over how to create a table, make it accessibility compliant, add styling to a table, add a column, and a row, and finally, deleting a row and a column. Begin by logging into Cascade Server using your NetID and password. Navigate to your site. Select the page where you want to add a table. Select Edit. In this example, we will add a table to a content area. Select the plus icon next to Main. Other template you can choose to add a table is Tabs and Accordion. In the WYSIWYG, select Table. Hover over a table. Use your mouse to select the size of your table, including the header. No, you can always add or remove columns and rows at a later point. Now that we have created the table, we will add a caption for our table for accessibility. With one of the cells selected, select the table property icon, select the caption radio button, select OK. Add a caption title in the first row. We will fill in the table with some generic data. We are going to designate our top row to be a header for our table. With any cell selected on the top row, select Table. Select Row. Select Row Properties. In the row type, we will change it from Body to Header. Select OK. Now that the top row is designated to be a header, we will select each cell that will turn into a header cell. Select the whole row or select each cell. With the cell selected, select Table from the toolbar. Hover over Cell. Select Cell Properties. Change the cell type to Header Cell. Select OK. Next, we will add styling for the table. Select one of the cells. Select Table. Select Format. Select Formats. Select Custom. Here you will be able to choose any of the table style length. When the table styling is selected, you will not be able to preview it until you select Save and Preview. Select Save and Preview. Now you are previewing the table with style. Now we will go back in to add a row and a column. Select Edit. Scroll down to the table, select any cell that you want to add a column next to. In this example, we will add a column to the right of our selected cell. With the cell selected, select Insert Column After Icon. Now that we added a column, we will now add a row. Select any cell that you would like to add a row next to. With the cell selected, select Insert Row After Icon. Now that we added a row and a column, we will now delete a row and a column from our table. Select the cell from the row you wish to delete. Select Delete Row Icon. Now we will select the cell from the column we wish to delete. Select the Delete column icon. 
select Save and Preview. Select Submit. Enter comments. Select Check Content and Submit. You may see error. Please fix these or ignore them if they are correct. Select the right arrow to see the rest of the error. Under Accessibility, you may get an error because we are missing a summary. In the newer web design, captions are preferred over summary for accessibility, so we can ignore this error. Select the checkbox. When you're ready to go live, select Publish. Select Publish again. Thank you for watching.